Hello, it is Mike and Janet Warner here to celebrate and show you some of the wonderful things that we have passed down family, generation, generation, generation. You know, a lot of people don't know that um, Grant comes by his cooking st skills genetically. So we're all really fabulous cooks in this family. One of the things we're going to show you today is one of our favorite family recipes. And we don't share this with a lot of people, but we're going to share this with you today. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to call up the recipe on Alexa. Hello, Alexa. Alexa, show me recipes for Spam Tacos. Alexa, show me recipes for Spam Tacos. Okay, for Spam Tacos. Here's a few recipes. See, and it brings up all these wonderful recipes for Spam Tacos. So we can use any of these recipes or you can kind of make it up as you go. So a lot of these recipes call for shredding the Spam, but today we will do it a slightly different way. First of all, let's show you how to safely open, and here's our little dog here helping us. He's Sanitary first, He's, we've washed his paws. So, the first thing we're going to do is show you the correct way to open a can of Spam. Safety first in the kitchen, and sous chef Michael will show you how to do that today. They have this handy little tab. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Talk about fresh. Oh, this is straight from the can. You, you just don't get better than this. Maybe we can get it out of the can, and maybe we can't. Sue Chef Michael is on it, though. There it comes. Oh, look at that. A fabulous loaf. Fabulous loaf of Spam. So it's important when you're in the kitchen to use the correct tools. This one? That, that is not the correct tool. Today we're mm -hmm. going to be using this knife. Now, this knife is a little hard to come by. You have to go to Walmart and you have to go to their knife section. This can run up to $7.99, $8.99. It is one of my best knives. You can't go wrong. Spend a little bit of extra money. Go ahead and go to Walmart and purchase this. Okay. So one of the versatility of Spam is that you can slice it. You can dice it. You can, do, you can shred it. Like this recipe asks for shredding, but we're not going to do that. But we will cube it up <laughs> eventually. So the next part is after we shred it, <coughs> excuse me, following the recipe, we will put it in a large skillet. Do we have a skillet? Let's right see. next to the, let's get the skillet out. So. What we'll do is we'll take a large skillet. We're going to spray it with a little cooking spray. And you know, don't spend the big money. Just get, get the cheap, cheap ass stuff. That works good enough. That was like 69 cents. And you spray the, your pan. Oh yeah, I brought out the good stuff. Gonna spray the pan, just big spray it. Spray it good. And then over a medium-high heat, you add your um, Spam, and you cook it and you till it gets brown and crispy, and it just looks delicious. And then you stir in a little taco seasoning. Oh, there's taco seasoning up there. Yes, taco seasoning. Here's some, the taco seasoning we like to use. You know, you buy it in bulk, because, you know, who needs to pay 99 cents for that package? when you can spend $1.99 and get many, many meals out of it. We're all about being thrifty. Not good enough. So he will throw it in the pan. Yes, and, ju and just, you know, we'll cook it till it's brown. Oops. 
anyway, so in another skillet over medium high heat, we will place a tortilla. Now we buy tortillas in bulk because we use a lot of them. So we just pull one out of the package, put a little more spray in the pan, and then just put your taco flour tortilla in there. Some people use corn tortillas, but no, I don't like those. So you just cook it till it's nice and warm, and then you throw some good shredded, your good shredded cheese. This is the real fancy stuff from Kroger. It doesn't get any better than this, really. This is top of the line, top of the line. And so then you cook it all together. You put your spam into your flour tortilla, and then you can top it with sour cream or paste piccani sauce. Some people do ketchup. That's wrong. Don't do that. And if you want a little Asian flair, put in a little chili garlic sauce from your Asian market. It's really good. So then you just enjoy your meal. And Mike and I want to wish Grant a happy birthday. Yeah, happy 30th. Happy 30th. Holy smokes. How did he get that old? I don't know. I don't know either. It's weird.